In this new series, we're discussing what you can be able to do so that you can be sharp on target as far as your purpose pursuit is concerned, especially in this current world we're living, a world full of distractions. And these distractions are not necessarily bad. They are very well-meaning activities that we can engage in. But we find ourselves at the end of the day, we are so spread so thin that we're not sharp as far as our purpose is concerned. In fact, by the way, you find that within us, in ourselves, there are multiplied gifts and talents, treasures, and time that we can be able to focus on. And in fact, if we can just pursue each and every one of them, it can be something. We find that if you pursue all of them at once, it's like you're juggling very many balls and it's easy for one to fall down. And we're saying, perhaps one of the things you can do is to approach it from a minimalist point of view. And I want us to discuss that further in this episode. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. In the area of creativity, especially when it comes to my life, one of the things that I've noticed is the more you work and the more you immerse yourself into your pursuit, the more you get ideas that are valid. It's just that maybe you're not able to see how the idea is going to pan out, but each and every one of those ideas are valid. You don't know if it's going to be this one or if it's going to be that one. The scriptures tell us something, I think, in the book of Ecclesiastes. It says, cast your bread upon the waters. You, de- you don't know which one is going to come back forth. That is that you need to consider several angles or different ideas. Uh, the financial experts, personal finances will tell you, don't put your eggs in one basket. Diversify. That's what they normally tell us. And Looking at it from this angle of pursuing your purpose and maybe your gifts and your talents, it becomes a bit cumbersome for you to take the advice of not putting your eggs in one basket and to try to diversify. Why am I saying that is a bit cumbersome? Because you're only one. I caught myself quoting myself in one of the episodes that I've done, I think episode number 932 or 33, somewhere there, where I was saying that sometimes we have this penchant of looking at statistics, numbers, different numbers, this number, that number, that number, and I say that the most important number is number one because number one represents you. If you remove you from the equation, there will be no other numbers to track. And in the same analogy, one represents your purpose, your core work. That if you start doing this and start doing that and do that and do that, where is mastery? Where is the focus? Where is the depth? Where is the immersion? Where is the knowledge and the branding that you're the go-to person in that particular niche or in that particular area? So it's valid if you are gifted in many things and it's valid if you have several ideas that you can be able to pursue but in practical work i found that it is not sharp if you're pursuing all of these things at a go or at once it's like when they want to tame i think when they want to tame animals in the in the wild 
They present these animals with a stool, a, a four-legged stool, and it's pointing at them. The animal looks at each and every one of those edges of the stool, those, those four edges, as individual things, individual enemies, not one stool, but looks at them as four enemies and effectively gets paralyzed because they doesn't know whom to attack first. That's the same thing with trying to do many things at a go as a human being. You get up, you end up being paralyzed and you don't get sharp. So we're discussing in these episodes in this new series. How can we get sharp in our pursuit of purpose? And the answer I've already suggested to you in the episode that has passed. I've suggested to you that the answer is to become minimalist in our approach to life. When we become minimalist, we are basically saying that less is more. We're saying that if you focus on less things, uh, we basically, you know, a minimalist is a guy who focuses on moderate living. He says that I don't need two cars, I don't need two houses, I don't need two pairs of shoes. The minimalist is not necessarily a miser, it's not necessarily hard on himself. It's just a realist that the resources that I'm amassing on myself, I don't need four Rolls Royce. What for? I don't need five 16 pieces of cloth. What for? I can only wear one at a go. So the minimalist approaches life from that angle. And we can use that approach in our purpose pursuit. That less is more. When you focus on less in terms of your work, get me correctly, I'm not talking about other things. I'm talking about your focus in work, your core work. And by the way, to become minimalist is basically just to retreat back and to find out what your core work is and to lean into it and to do it. Be there an opportunity for other things to rise up and you have time and space and resources to pursue those appendages or those additions or those detours, then okay, you can do that. But the minimalist approach means that the main work, the core work, is not forgotten. And I want us to discuss deeply in this series, even as we go ahead. I want us to discuss how it looks like what we can be able to do, how we can be able to approach it, and, and so on and so forth. My suggestion is simple. If you adopt an approach of minimalism to life and to business, then you get sharper in your pursuits than when you are trying to do basically everything. When you get minimalist, you get sharp. But what does it mean? I'm glad you asked. I have structured in this thing in such a way that if we are going to use the minimalist approach, for example, you do not think about the top of your eyebrow at this moment until I mentioned it. That's how your brain works. We ourselves as human beings are already inherently approaching life from a minimalist angle. Imagine if you had to consciously track every little detail that your brain is churning out today. The condition of your kidneys, the condition of your hair, the condition of your nose, the condition in the same second. It is basically it's too much to take in. You can't. And yet, we have a system that tracks all these things for us as we focus on what is before us, which is our daily functions. They keep on going unaided. Blood keeps on being pumped unaided. We don't need to think about it. In fact, you don't even need to think, oh, let me draw in a breath and let me draw out. I mean, let me breathe in and let me breathe. You don't need to think that. It is automated. It is just the way it is. So now, a minimalist approach to life means that we are going to do some things that I'm going to start explaining to you in the next succeeding episodes. But that minimalist approach is the one that is going to make you sharp in your purpose pursuit. So that you focus, I know, I know, I know. I know that there is so much to do and so little time. I know that there is so much to think about and so much to you want to do everything 
and you're thinking if I leave this probably I might not succeed in life and so on but believe me I've been alive for maybe a quarter of my life and I can tell you without battling an eyelid that you can't do very many things and succeed you can only do few focus on the few consolidate the core first then you can add other things later on tomorrow let's look at the specifics of this minimalist approach starting tomorrow stay tuned and bye bye thank you for listening to life signatures radio if you enjoyed today's show subscribe to life signatures radio on itunes stitcher or visit our website at life signatures dot l i b s y n dot com life signatures radio fresh clean and inspiring